So today's uh, uh, new unit is management and information systems. So learning outcome one is understand management and information systems in organizations. So let me catch up with few of the contents like uh, it has three learning outcomes under understanding management and information systems in organizations be able to evaluate a management system in an organization and third one is be able to plan improvements to a management information system yeah so the in the same structure <coughs> uh, we will be discussing like the indicative contains different types of information features of information system data security information system for competitive advantage and in this way you should be able to answer these assessment criteria yeah and the assessment criteria will similarly be helping you to answer your uh, assignment briefs as well yeah mm -hmm. so let us start with so we discuss here now the different types of information so if you recall our previous lecture which was based on computer systems and software and then uh, after the explaining the hardware we uh, discussed about the types of the softwares so softwares there was mm -hmm. system software application software and then the general purpose application softwares then special purpose application softwares so likewise you know the categories started you really went into the different software categories so <clears throat> by looking at those you know softwares and further classifications a kind of mm -hmm. management information system can be said as a new type of uh, uh, software category yeah but obviously the man complete yeah. management and information system is not only the software but it also includes hardware people and many things so the name of the unit is management information systems so let us catch up with some of the definitions like a routine information because you are basically dealing with the information in the information system or even in the computer and uh, wherever necessary related with the you know any organization where you need to manage certain information so routine information is a type of information that is provided on a daily basis which contains the usual and repeated tasks or reports of everyday job in the organization so this routine information is used to create daily reports for routine tasks so any information that is used routine wise on daily basis daily reports daily jobs so that information is a kind of routine task for example number of people coming into the factory yeah and uh, total number of uh, hours they worked yeah what work they did what was the items to be processed so routinely you know uh, in the daily information processed is normally simply called the routine information yeah mm -hmm. Okay. Then there is exception information. It refers to the information that are outside of normal ranges. Exception reports aggregate these unusual conditions and present them separately. A timely report of exception conditions make makes it easier for manager to isolate cases that require immediate attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah immediate attention uh, one second there is a bell yeah I, i'll be back in a minute yeah okay yeah yeah okay
Hi. Okay. Sorry, there was a postman, you know. So, no, okay. okay. So, exception information is a is an information that occurs, you know, exceptionally, and that needs to be taken care by the manager, and uh, so that it requires any immediate attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any question from this? No. Okay. So far. Basically, uh, in order to get into this uh, unit, you are required to understand certain uh, definitions first, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the summary information is a type of information that summarizes the routine, daily or weekly information reports into one report. And this report can be presented in tables or in visualized graphics. Make sense? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Like how much how much work is done into the weekly, or how much the pay needs to be paid to the employees, and uh, that needs to be done into the kind of report, maybe in tables, maybe in visualized graphs or charts. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. more or less, you are dealing with different kind of informations, but normally you deal with a routine, exception, and kind of summary as well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, obviously, that's not only the three types of the information, but at the managerial level, and uh, for the whole uh, organization, you need uh, more information as well like a um, decision making information the managerial information the corporate level information so we will be discussing these in next few slides mm -hmm. introduction of an information system now we formally define the information system the mis is defined as a system based on the database so mis whenever we talk about basically MIS is a database indeed. Yeah. Do you know something mm -hmm. about database? Um, yes. I mean, database is a is a storage unit um, uh, hosted in a server or you know online, basically that uh, can be accessed to retrieve information, to store information. You can say that database is a collection of data. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you say that collection of data and when you say database management system, then a system used to manage the data is stored, which is stored permanently. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you need a database to store the data. Yeah. And database management system allows you to manage manage means insert delete manage modify and uh, you know the many operations so database management system will provide you those operations and in order to maintain or manage the data however mis is based on the database so if you want the management and information systems you need a database yeah mm -hmm. for okay. purpose of providing information to people in the organization make sense yeah yeah so for example if you talk about only data you are dealing with a database and whenever you are dealing with an information it means you need a database to uh, to to be used as a management information system component yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then an information system is an organized combination of people, hardware, software, communication networks, and data resources that collects, transforms, and disseminates information in an organization. So as I explained mm -hmm. earlier, that MIS is not only the software, but it is the combination the hardware. of hardware, software, communications, and networks. All they make up 
the information system. Whenever you are required to install an information system, then the company will not only provide you the, uh, for example, the software, but they will be able to provide you the hardware, the computer, the network systems, and they would al also ask you to have some people, people in a sense that you cannot ask any, for example, the security guard to use the information system, but you need a trained people. Yeah, the IT people okay. in order to work on the uh, and uh, work on information system. So simple definitions, but they have a sense that uh, it's a combination of few things. Management information systems are distinct from regular information systems in that they are used to analyze other information systems applied in operational activities in organization. So remember that any information system that stores the information is different. And when you say that management information system, it means it has capability to look at the operational, uh, you know, operational activities as well. You are looking at a mm -hmm. managerial point of view. Yeah. Okay. Myers involves three primary resources: technology, information, and people. Further, management information systems are regarded to be a subset of overall internal controls procedures in a business. So, if there is a business, then management information system is a kind of subsystem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that subsystem of the particular uh, you know business it covers the application of people documents technologies and procedures used by management accountants to solve business problems such as costing a product service or business wide strategy so overall the management information system is also a kind of child of a family yeah mm -hmm. no matter it has a duty to to perform and manage the information but without this if the sub subcomponent is missing then obviously the whole company or business can stop working isn't it mm -hmm. yeah now benefits of management information system it improves person personal efficiency yeah Personal efficiency means the work, the office work that you normally can do manually, maybe by recording, uh, uh, you know, in a diary, yeah, list of items to do on daily basis. You can note down a digital diary and you can quickly, you know, look at all the, uh, you know, entries very easily. And it basically improves the personal efficiency, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It expedites problem in an organization. It helps to identify the problems in in the organization. It facilitates the interpersonal communication. Maybe having different computers within an organization, you can quickly send messages via the software and communicate with each each and every component, every part, every department within an organization and uh, interpersonal communication becomes very quickly yeah mm -hmm. yeah promotes learning and training as well because you you get more trained and learned uh, you know using the management and information system it helps you it helps you to learn the system as well because for example whatever the business model is and probably it might take you to understand very difficult uh, I mean you can take like a more time to understand the business model but if everything is in front of you in the form of management and information system that it can help you learn and train very easily yeah mm -hmm. so it, why promote though like it promotes it's a gen simple you know uh, uh, english word you can use you know, oh, I, know uh, I know the meaning but pro 
based on that, why promote and not uh, help understand better, let's say? Because a promote is, uh, you know, if we define this, that MIS promotes learning and training, yeah? Mm -hmm. Basically, you can take the different, uh, you know, contexts, yeah? Because it's a not a scientific, you know, zero or one, yeah? As a theoretical, the learning will be promoted in the sense that uh, those who have already learned, yeah, and uh, those who want to make awareness of, you know, the information systems to anybody else, then it helps to promote, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that way, it yes. It helps and encourages to promote, mm -hmm. yeah, it encourages to promote because probably it may not, in, you know, help you to promote and possibly, let's see, uh, Yeah, promote like encourage, support, mm -hmm. sponsor. Yeah, so whenever <clears throat> the uh, there is a need of training, yeah, training and learning within the business, yeah, then using yeah. management and information system, it will encourage you to get it learned. Yeah, it will encourage mm -hmm. you. For example, it will endorse you, it will help you, it will support you, it will sponsor you that uh, like the learning and training process will become easier. Mm -hmm. okay. Like if you wanted to edu educate some group of people and possibly if you are not using the computer at all, then do you think that uh, everything can be managed, you know, very quickly and easily? Uh, no. No. For example, more, more difficult. Yeah. More difficult. For example, if you wanted to distribute the terms and conditions of the company, yeah, mm -hmm. then probably the terms and conditions of the company, if there is no any concept of the computer or printer, and if you have a five implies, implies, then will you be distributing them the handwritten, you know, number of ten copies to the implies? If there is no computer around, yeah. Yeah, and even there is no photocopy. Yeah, I would have to write them yeah. by hand so, and distribute yeah. them manually. Yeah. Yeah. So Which would make it. Yeah. Time consuming. Yeah. So not only the you know the paper copies, but regarding every aspect of the MIS, it promotes. It helps in addition to learning and training as well not only mm -hmm. not only you know the usage for the business purpose but it also encourages to get learning i get learned and trained as well yeah mm -hmm. all right yeah it increases organization organizational control so if you don't have a management information system Possibly, you cannot control a very big company spread into, let's say, number of 10, uh, 10 rooms, yeah, 10 offices, uh, cubes in a small company. Then possibly you will not have access to every every staff in any ways. But if you are, if you have an MIS, then quickly, for example, you can send a message to their computers that uh, the manager has asked for, you know, the an urgent meeting. Would that be possible? Uh, via the MIS, yes. Yeah, via the MIS. And MIS doesn't mean that it's the email, for example, uh, but the, they can be notified through the email and they can have the specialized equipment as well. Yeah, possibly they can have, you know, the pages or, you know, special, you know, walkie-talkie or the radio system, yeah and uh, mm -hmm. anything can be used yeah so control yeah, controlling yeah. and 
and controlling an organization becomes easy it generates new evidence in support of a decision yeah mm -hmm. yeah if you have to take any decision then it helps you to generate and produce the evidences where you wherever necessary in order to take the decision mm -hmm. everything is in front of you it creates a competitive advantage over competition so if wherever the uh, competition is there no matter if it is a competition with the other company or wherever you need to compare the things yeah it gives an advantage because mm -hmm. normally you try to compete in every aspect based on the uh, you know similar identities yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah similar similar entities yeah so it helps to you helps you to compete it yeah compete it mm -hmm. you a competitive advantage yeah and in whenever there is a competition for example right. if the if the currency is you know reducing if the bitcoin price is reducing then if you are using mm -hmm. and uh, using any uh, you know mis management and information system then you can look at the competition where is the competition yeah it mm -hmm. encourages the exploration and discovery on the part of the decision maker so decision makers are encouraged to explore and discover any of the findings mm -hmm. yeah it reveals new approaches to thinking about people problem space so problem problem space can be revealed using new approaches for example if the graph is you know the decreasing yeah mm -hmm. if the graph is increasing like you know if we have a look on the productivity graph let's say anything anything yeah mm -hmm. for example you know the bitcoin yeah now look at the bitcoin marketplace yeah mm -hmm. market cap now see it reached at the price of 14000 and even more let's say in 3 months yeah it reached mm -hmm. 19,000, yeah. yeah, and it is reduced, reducing, 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 and up to here at 11,000 uh, USD price, it is reducing day by day. It has reached to 9,000, even 8,000, mm -hmm. yeah. So how? Yeah. Look at our definition that it reveals new approaches to thinking about the problem space and wherever the i just gave you the random example yeah mm -hmm. uh, not specific to this you know line but any approach for example if you wanted to buy the bitcoin now and then you can find you know that okay this is the time you know to buy but there is a problem that why it is you know decreasing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and it helps to automate the managerial process probably you know wherever the managerial decisions are to be taken it helps to automate for example if you can say that okay if the bitcoin is 8000 at the moment but i'm not going to buy let let the trigger make and trigger to be applied if the bitcoin prices reaches to uh, 6000 then Mm -hmm. automatically your account you are trading uh, the uh, you know, what they call these websites the exchanges should buy the bitcoin mm -hmm. for you know 4000 pounds okay yeah so overall in this business uh, i mean in uh, mis it improves the personal efficiency it expedites the problems in organization facilitates the interpersonal communication promotes learning and training increases organizational control generates evidence for the decision making gives an advantage in the competition 
encourages to explore and discover any decision making uh, you know events and looking at the problem space new finding the new approach automating the managerial process these are kind of benefits yeah normally mm -hmm. if yeah. there is a yeah. database you are, you don't you, you know you say only it stores but when it comes to the information system then you have lots of benefits yeah and the awareness mm -hmm. of these benefits like if you are a manager at tesco then probably these all of the you know benefits would be fitting fitting into every aspect of the store isn't it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. like you know efficiency you would be increasing the efficiency of the staff you would be finding the problems where the items are you know difficult to be managed how you would be communicating with the uh, staff and how the new staff would be learning or training how you would be controlling the whole store how you would be taking the decision for example the particular brand is not you know uh, uh, in more demand then you can discontinue you can get the competition price over there so if you find any single you know domain any one store mm -hmm. would, would you, are we able to look at all these features and the benefits yeah 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 so this these are you know the extended definitions or the ideas about the management information system now obviously <coughs> there are the types of the information management systems transaction processing systems these systems process a large volume of routine recurring uh, transactions for example the transactions of uh, banks they are based on the transactions probably the blockchain blockchain have you heard about the blockchain uh, not uh, sure. sure yeah blockchain is the technology used uh, in the cryptocurrency what happens the whatever whoever owns the particular cryptocurrency for example bitcoin currency mm -hmm. the bitcoin currency is basically you have a hardware yeah and your hardware allowed the scientific calculations to be done you rented a, your hardware yeah and against yeah, the yeah. Uh, rental of that particular hardware you own some you know credits in the form of bitcoin yeah right, then right, yeah then what the bitcoin does is how much do you own yeah uh, the credit is not stored centrally basically you must have heard that bitcoin is decentralized currency yeah mm -hmm. it doesn't have any of the central location like have you heard about the torrents yeah 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 so torrents are not owned by a single person but they are spread mm -hmm. everywhere yeah? Yeah. yeah yeah so i'm very familiar with torrents yeah you are you are <laughs> i'm very familiar with torrents very familiar yeah good so transactions can be reoccurring and the blockchain like the ownership of particular you know credit is stored into every single person computer Mm -hmm. So when I hear blockchain, yeah, I define it by that, like um, that it's, uh, it's stored in many, many parts, like in many spaces. Like means if you have a space and you are mining Bitcoin, yeah, mm. it means if your computing power or storage power is basically used and sold out, as well as you are also holding the transactions of every bitcoin processing for everyone mm, okay like you added added you know uh, your address you became the part of bitcoin mining you did some mining then your transactions will be stored to everyone and uh -huh. as well as other transactions will be loaded into computer as well in your computer 
Yeah. All right. Well, these are the concepts, you know, <clears throat> it hasn't become the theory yet, but the concepts behind them are in this way. Well, let me try to catch up with these, you know, things, uh, you know, quickly. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we will be lost and, uh, you know, the tomorrow Bitcoin will again be very expensive. Okay. So operation information system, these systems gather comprehensive data, organize it and summarize it in a form that is useful for the managers. So operations point of view, the comprehensive data is organized and summarized. Decision support systems, these systems help managers with the necessary information to make intelligent decisions. Like any system that helps to, for example, uh, there is a trading of the cryptocurrencies. There are a lot of different types like a Bitcoin, the Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and few more. You you are away from the computer. You have set some you know triggers that if the price goes down, then you need to buy you know particular currency. If the price goes up, you need to sell that particular currency, and everything mm -hmm. will be based on the decision support. Yeah. Okay. Expert system. They are mean to mimic the humans in making decisions in a specific field. Expert systems. Have you heard about the expert systems? Uh, no. They are mean to mimic humans in making decisions. So the systems designed based on the expert knowledge, they help to work as a human expert. For example, if the doctor takes the decision based on the symptoms of the disease. You need mm -hmm. to create a software that would ask you the symptoms and it will match the number of rules and will give you certain, uh, you know, uh, conclusion or the inference that what they need to do, which mm -hmm. medicine you should take, which precautions you need to take. Uh, so okay okay yeah yeah so expert system so whatever the expertise uh, like a human can have your system should be able to a uh, kind of mimic kind of a uh, copy humans thinkings for making decisions but in a specific field the field can be for example the medical software it can be like any research software. For example, if you want to find the petrol within the uh, particular portion of the earth or anywhere where the expertise are, you know, involved human expertise and beyond mm -hmm. those expertise, you wanted to make the replacement of the human. They are called the expert systems. Okay. Yeah. Clear? Yeah. Now, the role of management and information system in organization can be compared to the role of heart in the body. So, heart in the body is basically the MIS in the organization. Information mm -hmm. is the blood and MIS is the heart. In the body of the heart plays the role of supplying pure blood to all the elements of the body including the brain. MIS plays exactly the same role in the organization. The system ensures that appropriate data is collected from various sources, processed and sent further to all needy destinations. The system is expected to fulfill the information needs of an individual, a group of individuals, the managers and the top management. The MIS satisfies the diverse needs through a variety of systems such as theory systems, analysis systems, modeling systems, and decision support systems. So, how would you know the needs? The particular components like a curing system, analysis, mod modeling, decision support systems, all in the form of, let's say, in tables or charts, they will be helping you to take mm -hmm. some decisions. The MIS helps in strategic planning, management, control, operational control, and transaction processing. So you in planning, management, controlling the operations, transactions everywhere, 
एम आई एस हेल्थ या ओके कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दी एम आई एस इट इज मैनेजमेंट ओरिएंटेड बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एम आई एस टू प्रोवाइड द इंफॉर्मेशन सपोर्ट टू दी मैनेजमेंट इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग सो एम आई एस इज बेसिकली मैनेजमेंट ओरिएंटेड या इट सपोज दी मैनेज सपोर्ट दी मैनेजमेंट इट इज मैनेजमेंट डायरेक्टेड डायरेक्टेड वेन दी एम आई एस इज मैनेजमेंट ओरिएंटेड इट शुड बी डायरेक्टेड बाई दी मैनेजमेंट because it is the management who tells their needs and requirements more effectively than anybody else so it is also the directed it it is the mis should be directed by the management as well yeah so mm -hmm. it is information oriented and is being directed then third is the it is integrated it means a comprehensive or complete view of all the sub systems in the organization of a company simple characteristics because uh normally it's a software but its characteristics define that it allows the management it is get directed it is integrated yeah mm -hmm. maybe somehow you know it might take uh, a while to fit in your mind these words but once you will read once twice thrice then you would you know uh, understand and you know it will sit in your mind very quickly yeah okay yeah common data they're not flow. hard though, to understand sorry they are not hard to understand though like yeah they are not yeah you're right they are I not hard yeah they are not hard to understand but in order to put into the mind like remember mm -hmm. right like difference here like management oriented and management directed so that you could define with your heart yeah instead of reading yeah. probably you need to think about it that how it is oriented and how it is directed mhm mm yeah yeah common data flow the integration of different sub systems will lead to a common data flow which will further help in avoiding duplicacy and redundancy in data collection storage and processing like whatever the data for example the available stock is yeah possibly will be available to every staff yeah if somebody sold it then automatically the data will be reduced the stock will be yeah then heavy planning element the preparation of mi is not a one or two day exercise it usually takes 3 to 5 years and sometimes a much longer period so you are not able to create or have a, for example nowadays at the super stores like tesco asda they they are managing very well and uh, their stock staff and support whatever they have they have a very good system you mm -hmm. go for the shopping and whatever you expect and you get it yeah and how yeah. that is basically done that is basically done with the efforts of not the days or weeks but it is the efforts of the years isn't it yeah for example if you think that the key asda is the cheaper yeah then how they have made it cheaper you rely on them yeah and some of the products that you don't want let's say then you go to tesco or sainsbury yeah you know mm -hmm. that if the sainsbury is let's say or tesco is bit expensive then why it is expensive and uh, everything has been you know uh, you know tailored it has been heavily planned regarding the prices regarding the quality regarding the needs yeah uh -huh. so yeah. not only this or for example if you go to the <coughs> any other shop yeah like uh, ebay ebay is not the you know available or has developed or evolved in months and you know uh, weeks are uh, yeah, but it has taken longer than that it has taken many years mm -hmm. to uh, you know uh, get a dominant uh, you know into the market and uh, to provide a planned element yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
subsystem concept when a problem is in is seen in in two sub parts then the better solution to problem is possible so okay. <clears throat> so it also provides you subsystem concept that whenever there is a problem in a particular part then you can solve it very easily that is that is the characteristic of the system mis mm -hmm. yeah yeah <coughs> common database they use a common database for every uh, you know section of the mis it is computerized obviously it is user friendly obviously better than the manual handling it is uh, works as an information resource isn't it is a major mm -hmm. yeah 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 now overall the features that it is a timeliness like in time mis works in time yeah like it doesn't have mm -hmm. any delay it doesn't have any delay oh i'm waiting for the manager to give me the list of available stock no it is on time you have a look you get it yeah on the computer mm -hmm. yeah. it is accurate it is consistent consistent means there is no any duplication like for example <coughs> one of the document is uh, you know for if you have a price list in a paper one file would be showing you an, an item of the 100 pounds the other file probably you might fee, uh, find uh, that was updated yesterday it was 150 for example mm -hmm. but yeah. if it is a computer price and it modified then you get a consistent price there is no any duplication uh -huh. error yeah completeness right. it gives you a complete thing yeah and gives you a relevant information as well mm -hmm. yeah yeah aims of the management information system is to inform management and help them make informed decisions about management and the way the business is run Elements includes hardware, software, control, database and application programs, people, telecommunication and network. Output of information systems, you get scheduled reports, for example, on daily basis, the key indicator reports, for example, the critical activity, which may happen, for example, the any un unwanted event happen or anything came uh, like a faulty, then uh, in in a product then you write a key indicator report demand mm -hmm. report any report based on you know created on a demand for example sudden, the sudden inspection is done then uh, uh, manager is asking that how much is being how much sale is uh, being done in the afternoon then exceptional report which is uh, which is automatically produced when a situation is unusual or requires management action so for example the till machine is not working then automatically it should be triggered to the management and uh, uh, you know so that they can take any action yeah so yeah. except maybe done automatically demand when they need key indicator for example any findings they have uh, a critical to be uh, you know uh, addressed any scheduled reports so you are supposed to deal with these kind of uh, you know for example if you are going to develop the mis then you are supposed to consider that the report of the mis can be scheduled key indicator demand report exceptional report possibly you can have more but a general introductory can be these things yeah mm -hmm. now data and security Data security refers to the protective digital privacy measures that are applied to prevent unauthorized access to computers, databases, and websites. Data security also refers to the, uh, also protects data from corruption. Very simple definitions. Now we are coming on the next topic, the data security. Mm -hmm. yeah. Storage in a computer, data storage is the place where data is held in an electromagnetic or optical form of access by a computer processor so we, you are very clear that what is electromagnetic or optical yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The storage mm -hmm. is frequently used to describe the devices and data connected to the computer through input output operations 
that is hard disk blah blah we have already you know discussed lot on the storage yeah in the previous unit okay, yeah yeah i remember data backup or the process of backing up refers to the copying and archiving of computer data so that may be used to restore the original after a data lose event yeah mm -hmm. so you have a backup you can access it whenever there is an accidental damage to the data backups have two distinct purposes the pr primary purpose is to recover data after it's uh, it is being lost or be it, uh, by data deletion or corruption so possibly you can lose the data or the data can be deleted or corrupted the secondary mm -hmm. purpose of the backup is to recover data from an earlier time yeah according to a user defined data retention policy typically configured with a backup application of how long copies of data are required so data backup you keep the backup there are different types you need to recover the data for example you you have a bank account yeah mm -hmm. so whatever the uh, data you have the transactions you have they they can be the data could be stored in order to recover the if your account is or you, know, you know lost yeah you can mm -hmm. they can recover the data and if for example if data is deleted if your account data is deleted or data has become you know the corrupt then that particular data backup is useful yeah indeed. yeah and then and for example if somebody you know is required in his 10 year history then possibly the backup will will be able to help to give that particular data yeah mm -hmm. data archiving yeah basically the data archiving is the process of moving data that is no longer relative uh, no longer actively used to a separate storage so data backup for example say you say that you keep a backup of the data that can be accessed simply whenever required but when you say that data archiving it means you backup the data stored into any storage device and disconnect from the computer mm -hmm. like an external hard drive yeah external hard drive and you keep it on the separate size or in, in a magnetic tape or wherever yeah so that mm -hmm. is data archiving right yeah when you are in an organization and uh, you are going to get a job then if they, if they talk about the data backup it means it will be a live connected uh, backup storage yeah mm -hmm. for example a backup server when they ask about uh, you know the data archiving it means they store the data for example they normally say that uh, some agencies they store the data for 3 years yeah mm -hmm. yeah it means whenever they they need any record quickly then they will be looking at the backup and for example by policy the three years have been passed and uh, you you don't need it but still you want to keep that record somewhere then you will be data archiving yeah mm -hmm. yeah hacking hacking is an unauthorized intrusion into the computer or a network person engaged in hacking activities is general generally referred to as a hacker hacker may alter system or security features to accomplish a goal that differs from the original purpose so original purpose is different and the hacker purpose is different you know well yeah yeah information you know well or very well uh I know well about what hacking is. You know well about the U torrents. Have you tried about the hacking as well? Uh, not lots. Not lot. But some. I know only some uh, keyloggers and. Keyloggers. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's a science. Yeah. Yeah, it is. This is important to understand. Yeah. Okay. Information ethics have been defined as the branch of ethics that focuses on the relationship between the creation, organization, dissemination, and use of information. And the ethical standards and moral codes govern human conduct in society. 
information ethics is related to the field of computer ethics and philosophy of information. So you should be able to know that who can create the information, who can organize the information, who can disseminate, who can disclose the information, who can use the information. Everything comes under the ethics. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. yeah. If in a bank, the one computer operator or the cashier may be able to look at your account, for example, uh, a month, yeah, a month mm -hmm. transactions. But yeah. only the manager will be able to look at all, all your, you know, history of the accounts and possibly where do you live, yeah, and that might be hidden from some certain staff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the ethics, you know, they are uh, and connected with the in, information ethics and codes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enterprise yeah. systems are the large scale application software packages that support support business process, information flow, reporting, data analysis, analytics in complex organizations. While enterprise systems are generally packed, packaged enterprise application software, Systems they can also the bespoke custom developed systems created to support a specialized specific organization needs. The in enterprise systems include include enterprise resource planning systems, enterprise planning system, customer relationship management uh, software. So ERP is a large scale system. Mm -hmm used in business processes, information flows, they are reporting, data analysis. For example, if there is a one branch, then probably you will be working on the, let's say, one information system very easily. But mm -hmm. the one branch is under the one region, and there are, mm -hmm. let's, let's say, five branches in one region. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then again, a company or enterprise has like let's say five regions in a country yeah and let's say then there are five countries in a continent so mm -hmm. overall enterprise relationship uh, enterprise systems you know they have these kind of uh, you know structures yeah? yeah it's like the next it's like the next step uh, i mean you are now further going next step in the in, in the management information system. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Supply chain management, the management of flow of goods and services involves the movement and storage of raw materials. So supply chain management basically is that how you will be managing the goods and involving the raw material, you know, supply, work mm -hmm. in process, inventory of finished goods from point of view uh, of origin to point of consumption interconnected mm -hmm. or interlinked networks channels and nodes business combined so overall if for example there is a factory then there is a production there is a supply yeah and uh, mm -hmm. there is raw material everything comes under the supply chain management yeah yeah mm -hmm. so the particular information system which is called the supply chain management uh, is is really being used in the uh, you know uh, materials yeah material usage manufacturing output and these things mm -hmm. yeah customer yeah. relationship management is also a kind of independent uh, you know information system is a term refers to the practices strategies and technologies that companies use to manage and analyze the customer interactions and data throughout the customer life cycle with the goal of improving business relationships with customers like uh, you must have heard about the sales department yeah mm -hmm. yeah the sales departments you know they have lots of information like uh, it's a, if it is a new customer or if it is a you know old customer then probably the customer is liable for the uh, royalty discount, yeah, you must have heard about these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Anything related with the customer relationship systems, they help you to identify the, uh, you know, potential customers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
knowledge management systems refers to any kind of IT system that stores and retrieves knowledge, provides collaboration, locates knowledge, sources, mines, and repositories for hidden knowledge, captures and uses knowledge, or in some other way enhances the knowledge management process. So, knowledge management system is a general one, IT system which is working on the knowledge, probably the Google or anything, any ledgers like, uh, you know, the research articles can be a kind of knowledge systems. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a general term. Yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So any questions? Um, let me think. Mm, no, actually. Yeah. You can go through every slide and try mm -hmm. to understand, in, you know, first. And if you still have any problem, then we can discuss in the next lecture, or you can send me the email, and uh, you know, I would try to give you the answer as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then so I would see you next week, and I think that I do have your next week schedule as well. Your availability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm available on Monday. Yeah. And then it's uh, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, I will have a look on your email and uh, we'll schedule yeah. accordingly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. then. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.